Here's that story we mentioned before the break. Over the weekend, a 14-year-old boy stole a charter school bus. You see it right here. Took it for a joyride, and then Metro Police stopped him on I-40. Yeah, so how did the boy steal the bus in the first place? We're asking that question all day. We're hearing from school, the school district, and WSMV Sharon Dankwa gets a breakdown from a local locksmith. Many are asking if the 14 year old boy used a spare key, a duplicate or hot wired the car. I got answers from this locksmith and school leaders. Uh, it's pretty shocking. It's the reaction Matthew Ellis and many others had after seeing this video. When I was 14, I think I was going from eighth grade to freshman year and that wasn't even in my it wasn't even in my thought process to steal a school bus. But that's exactly what a 14 year old boy did. Metro Police say the teen stole a school bus from the Kip College Prep School's parking lot Saturday afternoon. Why the 14 year old knew how to do that and what methods and what routes to go. Police say after stealing the bus, he crashed into a gas pump in West Nashville, nearly ran someone over and crashed into a car before speeding onto I-40 West. After being chased by police and nearly running into spike strips, officers arrested of the teen and charged him, but many are now wondering how he did it. A school bus uh, similar. Most of the time they have a bluebird keyway because uh, that's the engine. Uh, they don't have transponder key. It's something Ellis says is pretty common. Uh, there's not very many key options they have, so you definitely could start it with just an old school metal key that was similar to whatever keyway that that bluebird took. So to keep it from happening again, Ellis suggests some school districts make a change. Yeah, definitely some sort of cam lock or some sort of uh, just a little switch that rolls over to the doors to not let them open. That, that would be more secure at least. Kip College Prep School leaders say they're now working closely with Metro Police on this investigation. In Nashville, Sharon Dinkwa, WSMV 4.